to make a big U-turn and it was wood, it was grass. The road was paved, but the turnaround was grass and mud. That's on a normal day. I could have turned around no problem, but on that day, I've been stuck in the middle of nowhere, Bill USA, waiting on help, waiting on a, a ranger or somebody to happen through. But uh, I had to bag out. So that's what I'm talking about with the LED lights. Lighting is, a, is paramount. I thought about going with some light bars on the top on my rails next to the uh <clears throat> choke please give me next to the uh, solar panel I still might we'll get to that we'll climb that hill when we get to it but how you doing sir friendly guy but uh Walking back toward the van, looking at the top of the van, you see what I mean by the light bars? Let me show you. I'm trying to hold this thing steady. Now, see what I'm talking about? This rail, this rail right here, I thought about mounting a light bar facing outward. That would run off of, um, see that's the thing, running off my house batteries or running off the cranking battery. It will work wonders if you're camping, because a lot of times when I'm camping, like I camp so many different places. And I don't know if the, if the guys at Z Moon make a light bar like that. You know, I don't know how long that is, but I like to take up most of that rail. That reel serves me <clears throat> pretty much no purpose. Let's, let's cut that out. We're going long. Um, that rail serves me pretty much no purpose now, other than to just kind of make the solar panels a little more, a little, uh, a little, uh, a little stealthy. <clears throat> you know, that's really all that rail does. I, I've never put cargo there. I've never put luggage there at this point. So. Um, you know, once I get the additional panel in front of that one, I'm going to have to pull that panel back, maybe an inch, but, uh, as long as it fits, it'll butt up into that one, you know, and, uh, that light bar, well, the reason I'm saying that light bar would, would be nice because <clears throat> say for instance, you pull up and you're doing a, some parking lot camping. Even right here, there's no light. There's no available lighting here. It's dark. Nighttime, there's not a light. It'll be pitch black dark. You'll have none but moonlight out here. Say, for instance, I want to set up camp right here, right in this location right here. A light bar, <clears throat> of course, it wouldn't be directional as far as turning. And I thought about individual lights that could turn. <clears throat> but truth be told, I probably wouldn't be adjusting lights and stuff like that i have lights inside that i can hook to the generator and set up in case i want to like sit up out there in the grass or or wherever but i just want to stay right here say say for instance a, a, a parking lot situation or whatever those light bars could be angled you know just leave them angled at a downward position kind of out here <clears throat> and i could just hit a switch and have lights right here you know what I mean? And, and not have to worry about a thing. Or vice versa. On the other side, same difference. Now that's just the idea of mine. You know, I don't know, you know, this is an idea. You know, you got rails. You know, I don't wanna add too many bells and whistles, get the, you know, and even add like a, uh, if you don't want them to look like lights all the time, maybe just, uh, Build a custom cover to cover them up while you're not using them. You know what I mean? Kind of keep the elements from beating it down, even though they can handle the elements. Maybe a nylon breathable cover. That's what I plan on doing to the front. <clears throat> now, let me show these. <clears throat> can you see those? Those are the lights. I mounted them. These are the old school ones. These are the ones Z Moon sent. 
all solid aluminum. I mounted them on a metallic uh, aluminum bar. Um, and they're sitting pretty. Now, I got all this wiring showing because I hadn't hooked it up yet. But I'm going to hook them up. <clears throat> then I'm going to do a vid on the output. You know, and I'm thinking about <clears throat> these are old. They're halogen. I'm sure those will outperform these. But uh, that's what we're working with. And once I get them hooked up, I'll hide all that lighting, all those wires and stuff like that, and tuck it behind the bumper so you won't be able to see any wiring. And I'm definitely happy with them. So far, so good. Thanks to the guys over at Z-Moon. So, <coughs> that's, uh, <coughs> that's pretty much it. We went 23 minutes on this vid. I hope I got everything covered. <coughs> uh, so, I think I've covered it all as far as I wanted to do on this video. Well, in parting, I just want to say this, you know, you got to live your dream and chime in to those lives. It's packed full of information. Uh, like I said, you can find me over at Facebook, F-A-C-E-B-O-O-K, <coughs> F-A-C-E-B-O-K. -O -O -E but anyway, you can find me over at Facebook. That's Ramon Riddick, R-E-M-O-N-E-R-E-D-D-S-E-K on Facebook. Send me a friend request. I gladly, gladly accept it. Um, and uh, I'm gonna get back to some whatever I was doing. I don't know what I was doing. Yeah, I, I, I want to wipe the motor down. I'm gonna pull the doghouse off and uh, uh, try to spray the motor down with some. Can, can that awesome product clean a motor? <clears throat> I looked at some gunk edge degree. That stuff like six bucks. It was a huge bottle. I don't need that big of a bottle. That awesome product. <clears throat> that's what I use on my rims, and it cuts right through the grease. So, you know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just get get most of it off. That I, you know, it's time for my yearly cleaning. Uh, I saw how cruddy it was yesterday. So um, I'm planning a live event for tonight. Also, y'all want to check in? We'll have some fun on there and chit chat. Um, but that's pretty much it. That's why I got the phone signal out here. That's great. That's pretty much it, y'all. We're gonna get out of here. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and share the video. You know, with Facebook, they've been doing a lot of, lot of stuff. My, my video has been throttled quite a bit on the sharing and on how they, you know, send it out to people and notifications have been lacking. I don't know why <coughs> the smaller tubers like me have a lot of trouble getting out there now. So if y'all would love, to, I would love it if y'all just share the video. You know what I mean? With a friend or on your Facebook pages or whatever. On your uh, group pages or whatever. I'd greatly appreciate it. Because we're just trying to get some knowledge out. Get a positive. <clears throat> help people out. With knowledge and first-hand experience. Hands-on experience. For the little guy. You know, the one that, you know. I call myself a little guy because, you know, I am. I mean, I don't have a lot of capital. I don't throw a lot of. I don't have a lot of stuff to throw at. Uh, fun to throw at stuff, you know. And for those who do, God bless them, because that's a great thing. Uh, <laughs> it's not a bad thing <clears throat> at all. <clears throat> you know, I have did this, you know, step by step, piece by piece. And, you know, it, it, it's come together quite a bit. And, uh, you know, I just have to thank God and be grateful. Uh, you know, I remember, you know, let me, let, me, let me send a special thanks to the guys over at Z-Moon and all the people who watch the channel and contribute. And, you know, uh, <clears throat> the guys over at Z-Moon, uh, I just thank them again. And anybody else who wants to me to do a review on their stuff, feel welcome to send me an email. Uh, that's R-O-D-Z-H-O-T-T -T at Gmail. That's R-O-D-Z-H-O-T-T -T at Gmail. Send me an email and we can talk about uh, some collaborations and some, some uh, work that we can work together to get, uh, get the product out, get the message out, and I'm going to do an honest review on it. Uh, if you want me to do a bad review or a fl uh, what I call a fudged review, I, I can't do it like that. <clears throat> Give you an honest review in a nice way. <laughs> like, <clears throat> if I'm happy with it, I'm happy with it. <clears throat> if I disapprove of it, I disapprove of it. Uh, I've had a few things come through 
from different guys. Like I had a washing machine at one time and I still got that washing machine that I don't use it much, but I will. <clears throat> uh, it's, 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 it's in semi arsenal. Uh, <coughs> <clears throat> I gotta make space for it. And I got that planned. Uh, when dispersed camping, that thing's gonna come in handy. Cause you won't have washers available. And if you do, they're gonna charge you the arm and the leg. Trust me, when you're out there in the bonus, they know they got you out there. They're gonna charge you, buddy, for washing clothes. <clears throat> you city campers think you got it made in the city. Trust me, the city don't charge much. <clears throat> when you get out of Nowheresville, USA, they feel like they got you out there, a lot of them do. And they look at it as a money-making opportunity. I don't knock them for making money, but I'm just telling you the facts. You're gonna pay quite a bit to get those clothes washed, especially you know how to do it. You have an apparatus you can do it on your own. That's something you have to do on a regular basis. You know, like I said, well, you can get a bucket and that, you know. Yeah, you can, you know. But this thing, you add the hot water, <clears throat> boil your pot of hot water, put it in there. Laundry detergent, with detergent they have now, you don't even need hot water. Seal the top on it, you crank it. The stuff pressurizes and it cleans clothes. It's pretty cool. It's a water hog, but <clears throat> you gotta have water and wash clothes. Ain't no way around it. <clears throat> but uh, definitely live your dreams. Try to make them come true to the best of your ability and be thankful. Cause I remember this was just an idea in my mind. And I wish I could have got some ideas of the studio I had and showed the emptying out of it and the downsizing, which still is going on, man. Still going on <laughs> to this day. You're amazed how much stuff you accumulate and you build those emotional attachments to those things. And it is hard to get rid of them. Man, you don't need them. Man, you don't. They're just standing in your way of progress. I hate I do all that. <clears throat> but man, this weather's. I've been in so many different climates, dude. You just don't realize. I just can't get a stable climate, especially in the winter months. Cold one day, get 30 degree swings, it's hot the next. It's <clears throat> I don't have a cold, it just affects my sinuses real bad. Cause I have a tremendous sinus issues. But that's, uh, I got some care packages planned too uh, for homeless individuals <clears throat> that I run across or people that's downtrodden. Now, I don't know what words to use. They come to me from time to time, and you know, just a care package. What I mean by care package, I talked a bit about this on my live last night. <coughs> I'd like to send a special shout out to all the people that came along, the people that contributed ideas. Because I asked for some ideas, like Miss Theresa. Thank you so much, and of course Sherry, with those insights on things to put in the care bag. They brought up women, you know. The care packages can't be so generalized because the men and women have different needs. They brought that to my attention and that's definitely important. So I'm thinking about just a little bag with a little spiritual um, <clears throat> note in it. A buck or two. <clears throat> um, you know, stuff like that. You know, socks, toothpaste. Uh, I like to keep these things real as possible. You know, women need tampons and stuff like that. You know, I, I can't <clears throat> do a whole lot because I want to reach more than one person. But I definitely want them to remember that <clears throat> people out there are, are just, just, there are good people that want to help in their own way. <clears throat> and a little bit, thanks for bearing with this video, a little bit goes a long way sometimes because life can be cruel, especially when you're having difficulties. But definitely keep the faith, like and share this channel, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Tell a friend. Promotion, promotion, promotion. And we're going to get out here and do it again, y'all. We will see you next time this Rod on the Road signing off. Peace. I'm going to get back at it. Even though I don't have much to do, I got a few things I can do. Maybe listen to the woodpeckers. Hey, check this out. Before I go, let me, oh, this is, come here. Before I go, I want to, I am a tree hugger. I am a tree hugger, so. I'm hugging this tree. This is a great tree. I love you, tree. You're a good tree. I love you. All right. I am a tree hugger, so. It's all good. See you. This is Rod and Rose signing off. Peace.